Hey, what's going on with it once again, bros, women, or ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, and boys and fangirls, the talk is in your This is Fan of Pop Culture News for Greg. Hey, Mr. Man, we're bringing you guys on Wrestling Drops with George's channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, of course, all these other social media sites, all that other good stuff, and Reddit, and Minds, and all that stuff, just in case this channel gets shut down, all that other stuff, what have you, Shadow Band. Anyways, my friends, before we even get started into most of this, all right, there we go. I just had to adjust my seat a little bit. Yeah, like I was saying before, before we get started on this, just real quick, I may end up doing at the end of the video is three VTuber tricks I actually found. I'll just tell you the names real quick. And then one was Necrolina, and the other one, I forgot, she was like this Polish, like Irish, Scottish chick. She was mixed, but she sounded like she was from Europe somewhere. I don't remember, but very, very super cute, adorbs like VTuber. And then there was another one called Crime Boss Ellie or Eli. I don't know. So there's that. So. I might get to that at the end of the video if I remember to do it. And as far as crazy ass news in the world, there was a big ass thing that happened almost three days ago in Brazil. I'm not going to get into it because it's very controversial. It's kind of what happened, unfortunately, January 6th, almost two years ago now. Um, I'm not sure if that shit was a fucking psyop or if it was fucking stage, bread and circus, or if it was fake or if it was real. I don't know. Anyways, I know I shouldn't be reacting to this, but this is not the first time I talk about a pop music artist chick on this channel. Or girl, I think the last two I talked about a long time ago was like 2016 or 17, uh, Ariana Grande. I'm not sure if she's still relevant anymore. And then Billie Eilish, like two years ago in 2021 almost. So not that long ago. Um, so there's that. Well, physically, it was a little while ago, but year-wise, not that much. But, oh, Lord, this ain't the first time I've heard of this chick, Cardi B. My fucking God, man. I'm not sure she's really sold out to those people and all that stuff, what have you. How, um... Whether it's satanic or not, the music industry, if there is an in industry in plant, which I learned way back in my early 20s, like literally almost my sophomore year of um, freshman, or early sophomore year of um, high, sc not high school, um, college and all that. And I have to have the light on here because if I don't have it on, it'll be fucking darker. So there's that. Anyways, um, without further ado, um, <laughs> in the words of a very, very wise rich man, hopefully, not even a rich man, but a wise, um, very wise wisdom man, um, Hopefully I could get to this um, reaction video. Um, the crick don't rise in a good world, Lord's willing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm three, two, one. This is about this chick Cardi B. I don't know why the fuck she's complaining. She has millions and millions of dollars. So why the fuck is this chick complaining about um, freaking food crisis and groceries? But I'm gonna let the freaking bitch cunt talk. Let's go. Hopefully it works. Not that's gonna be a bitch. Let me tell you something. When I be complaining about food prices, and y'all motherfuckers be like, "Ain't you rich? Why you complaining about lettuce? Why yeah, you complaining about this?" That just goes to show me when you be when you become successful, when you have money, you gonna fucking you gonna go broke soon because y'all not budgeting. I get a summary yeah, of the money that's being spent in my home every week. So when I'm starting to see that like groceries is like tripling up. It's like, hey, yo, what the fuck is going on? I want to see for myself what the fuck shit is being spent on. And, like, when I go to the fucking supermarket, like, I went to the supermarket, I'm seeing that everything Obvious. tripled up. That, like, lettuce was, like, $2 a couple of months ago, and now it's, like, fucking 7 Of course I'm going to say something. And then again, all this is done, the might fuck? Be done by design. The fuck? Because if I think I that shit is crazy. Pause. There we go. I don't know. My personal thoughts, views, and opinions on that, and I'm trying to get all Tim Foley hat, but a lot of these fucking places... Especially, and most of you guys probably didn't hear about it. Maybe a few of you did. We follow a lot of the truth or media, alternative media, community channel stuff. Like, I even underground shit. Should be out there. Now, the shit that's on BitChute or Brighton and Rumble, I'm going to agree with 100%. But some of the stuff on there, man, it's a lot more fucking truthful compared to a lot of the shit, sadly, here on YouTube. But, especially when it comes to the small hat people. I know, oh, if you say this, you're anti this, you're a semite of this, and you're against this, you're against that, you're. A racist, misogynist person to that. It's, it's how unfortunate it's yeah, gotten way out of control here on YouTube. Sadly, it's fucked up as that is. Truth hurts. really does. But, yeah, it might be all done by design. I see all these chicken places and a lot of these farmland areas are getting way, way more expensive. To, like, they have all these fruits and vegetables and lettuce and all that stuff growing. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, a lot of that shit's going to fucking go to the, the wayside. And from what I heard, like, about three weeks ago, my old man told me, and it's not in my room, baby, but he said that, um, they're going to, like, hide a lot of this shit either in the mountains or in the underground military bases. And, then like, a lot of these places that are, like, way high up in somewhere in Canada or in European Swiss Alp Mountains. And you know what's going on in Switzerland and France. I'm not going to tell you, but it's C-E-R-N, but that's all I'm going to say now. But let's continue on to that. Crazy. 
I could only imagine what middle class people or people in the hood is motherfucking thinking. So yes, I'm going to say something. The fuck? And I have a big platform, so I do want Enormous anybody that's platform. responsible of these fucking prices to put that shit the fuck down. They're going to see my shit, they might put it down. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> something. When I be complaining about food oh, prices... Lordy. It's funny, I know like her music's complete fucking goddamn garbage. It's complete trash. I'm not going to lie. Oh, fucking hopefully... If any of you guys are my followers here and you're a fan of Cardi B, you probably are going to unsubscribe already after I said that about her. But yeah, maybe like, I guess, yeah, you know, sex appeal wise. And she definitely has a big ass and big freaking titties and all that shit. It's pretty much a prawn star. It's a bride she didn't just go for being an adult film star chick instead of being a singer and all that. Because I remember in 2014 or 15, one of those years, uh, she was like a, I think she originally started as a stripper or something like that. And I used to watch a little bit of the reality TV show. I think it was from Love and Hip Hop or Basketball Wives or something like that. Or Music Wives. A lot of these fucking scripted bullshit mind control makes your mind a mush and garbage. Shout out to an old Bejito dude. He's probably old enough to be my dad or even my grandpa's name is um, Bejito in the Spanish. I mean, in case you don't know what that means, it's an old man or old woman or elderly person. His name's Odin's man. There's this motherfucker. He really, really goes hard on these people that are SJWs and all that. So you know what? I got to commend him for that, man. Because the world's getting way more fucking wackier out there than I thought. And from what I heard, I heard like a couple of days ago, Maine. Out of all places, I thought it would be New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, anywhere in the East Coast part of the United States. I did hear that they're like the California of the East Coast. I didn't know that. So they're pretty much like San Francisco and LA and stuff when it comes to this effed up commie sort of freaking thinking. Sometimes beyond communism, by the way, way beyond that. And it's just like per PBPs. Perfectly programmed sheeps of the peeps, man. Sadly, so this world's going more effed up into the ground. My personal opinion, I even heard, and not to be a fear monger or any of that shit, but uh, this old psychic lady, we don't believe in psychics or tarot card readers and all that. It said that uh, W-W-W-3 in 2023 or maybe 2024 is going to be very, very interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if it was more 2024 if it wasn't this year. God forbid if there's a, a bang, bang, super nova ginormous firework let's just call it that not really a firework but it starts with radiation and goes with the stuff that's going on in russia and the other place that blows off everywhere and um unfortunately i won't be able to see you guys anymore it's because a lot of the grid's gonna be gone electricity to be gone just all psh, kaput out of the window yeah last thoughts about this chick Harvey. yeah i heard her name was like Belarisa something she has a very long ass name so i don't even know if i can find it but it's it's a crazy fucking deal, man. It really is. Anyways, um, uh, that wasn't that. Yeah, Belarisa Malinas Alamasas Separas. Wow, she's younger than me. October 11, 1992. What? I always thought she was a little older. Holy shit. Yeah, as far as that goes, I know her music's complete garbage. Even though she did the WAP song with freaking Megan Thee Stallion, all that other stuff. It is what it is, yeah, you know, and there's a lot of younger women out there that are going to, fortunately, they're going to look up to this chick. They're going to probably worship an idol, especially, I remember, like, when I used to live in New York City in parts of the Bronx or Burroughs, or no, well, Spanish Harlem, I see on a lot of these older women act like they act like hooker, horrid prostitute bitches. It's extremely annoying as fuck. My God, I couldn't get that shit on my god dang head. Especially you've grown up like half Puerto Rican, and that's getting the freaking hood out there, like, nah. Luckily, you know, some black people, they still have respect for them and stuff like that, but other than that, it's not a good look, man. It really isn't. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really give rat's ass about me. Yeah, she makes a few good points. I know she said something about, oh, Illuminati and Illuminati before a couple of years ago. I think it was on Instagram or when TikTok started blowing up. I don't know. And the popularity. Oh, well, speaking of which, I don't know if that's ever going to get taken down with TikTok. Oh, these are the ones I wanted to talk about real quick. Very, very funny VTuber chicks. Necrolina. This other chick over here. I forgot her name. Marcherano. And this other one, this crime boss chick, Ellie, man. Very, very cute chick, man. You know, she's not a real person. Very, very funny, hilarious girl. And be very careful with the pictures I show here because I might not be NSFW. Yeah. Very, very funny ass chick. <laughs> a lot of them are funny entertainers. Even though they don't show their face IRL. But, again, I was an anime weave for a super long ass time. So, I might resonate with a little bit better. I don't know. But, anyways, that's all I got to say for now. I'm out of here and that's it. Yeah, it's whatever fucking card to be said. I don't care. I don't know. I'm not sure she's ever really sold out to the industry like that. And all the other crazy fucked up symbolisms out there, like especially old school 2006 to like 2012 YouTube, was a lot less 
censorshipery compared to how it is now, so I gotta be careful with it, words I use. Yeah, and that's it. Whether it's um, true or not, yeah, I know a lot of stuff's going up. A lot of it, like I said to me personally, it's all done by design. And some of these places are gonna be closed down permanently. I even saw like videos from when the Planet of Scandal was going on, okay, Convid-19. And that's picking up even more again. Um, like fucking what's it called? Um, some of the WalMarts and Targets. Lucky the Walmart I live out, and it's crazy because I live out here in this big ass city over here in Vegas. So like, they haven't ran out. It's insane. And I'm not gonna tell you which area I actually live in, but around this area, not to be like a racist person, it's mainly a lot of Filipino Asians and like white people that live on this side. Because way down there, and I'm pointing that side. Um, that's where a lot of Spanish Latino dudes live out out there. It's, Frankly enough, I'm more comfortable over there for I don't know what, what reason. But, um, yeah. A lot of that food over there in Walmart is still not running out. And Target, too. So I'm surprised. It's pretty wild, man. I mean, the only time I ever see it run out is when they run out of, like, Powerades and, like, energy drinks and stuff and pop. But, like, after, like, one and a half, maybe two weeks, and then it comes back again. So, I don't know. One end of the world, Armageddon ever shit ever crap truly hits the fan. L luckily for me, I'll be ready. Weapon-wise, I'll be ready. Um. I just hope spiritually I'm ready. So I don't know. I know I'm not trying to get into religion and all that. I am one of those people even that Harpazo catching away, aka old rapture stuff. Um, to me personally, hey, if I get into it, great. And if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to have to worry about killing and destroying out zombies if that ends up being a thing. God forbid if I have to stay for that. But I wish you all the best of luck just in case that does happen to any of my subscribers out there. All right, I've been rambling long enough. That's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros and fan boys and fangirls, little talkers and boys. I'll see you next week. It's day or night, wherever you're on. We're out there. Stay tuned for future content on this channel out there. Include video game ministry news, I'm news, for future drama news. Once in a while, video game ministry news. Of course, reaction to video segments like this. I'll try to do a lot more like the stuff of the other ones, like I used to do with Death Battle, but no promises. I'll see you, though. Whatever interests in me. I might I still want to subscribe to that other dude. I don't know his fucking name anymore. He used to have like this code color thing like he's got like this old school electric guitar in the beginning of his videos and that's it take it easy peace out on the top right lazy mice you on the flip side i'm taking the poison or jabs i'm out later